Um, so I got involved with Special Kids um, probably back in 2009. Uh, just got to know them a little bit. And uh, by about 2011, I came for a visit here at the uh, nursing center and was just amazed at the work that they were doing here uh, in such a cramped facility and seeing what they were able to do right here locally in Murfreesboro. And so at that point, I was compelled to uh, run a race for a child here uh, that had special needs. I ran the Chicago Marathon in his honor, and uh, I struggled during the race. I didn't get my exact time I wanted, but I remember there was a one point at about mile 20, a guy uh, uh, saw that I was struggling, and he said, hey, is that your son uh, that you have a picture of on, on, on the back of your uh, shirt? And I said, no, but that's who I'm running for today. And I remember just getting that urge to uh, continue to go and to continue to be involved in special kids. And, and since then, uh, the idea for a race happened back in 2012. And uh, we first started with the idea of maybe an eight miler and uh, that quickly turned into a 5K and a 15K. And now we're getting ready to have our eighth uh, race in on March 9th, 2019. So you've been our race director since after the first year. What keeps you coming back to, to be the director of the race? When somebody volunteers for an event or an organization, I know that they get a lot out of giving to that organization. But I think what is missed a little bit is how much they actually get back. And when working with special kids, the staff, the kids, the families, what you see is how much you actually get in return and the little small part that we do in race week or the weeks leading up to a race is small in comparison to what I actually get out of the race. It's, uh, it's created a community for me. Uh, some of my best friends are now involved in special kids but more importantly it's that I know that one of the things I'm doing is something that's fun but more importantly helping individuals right here in our community. It's important to me to see something in Murfreesboro build and blossom uh, as, as Special Kids has and to see people come back every year, the volunteers, the runners of our race, um, all because they know this is such an amazing cause. Um, what would you tell someone thinking of participating? Why should they participate in our race? Well, first, everybody should participate in the Special Kids race on March 9th, 2019. You can run your own race, your 5, 10, 15K, or of course the fun run. But the more importantly, it's what better way to give than to help improve yourself. In a race at the beginning of a year, it's, it's the way to start off 2019. You've got two months to train, uh, just over two months. You can get ready for whichever race you want. Uh, a 5, 10, or a 15. And if you sign up for the 15K and you're not ready for it, trust me, we'll, we'll transfer you to the other distance. But it's a great way to give to a great organization. Every dollar that is your registration goes directly to special kids. Because of our sponsors, all costs are covered. And so, and at that day, just wait. You gotta be there the day of a race. It's an event, it's a community, um, in involvement where not only do you have 25 to 100 to 3,000 uh, runners, but you have the families of the kids there. You have the Stones River Battlefield represented and, and shooting off that cannon to start the race. You have an entire community at the Murfreesboro Medical Clinic on March 9th. It's an amazing event. It, it, it'll make, that's why you'll come back year after year, is to be part of that community and then also starting your year off the right way by running your race. Just the final note about special kids. I want others to be inspired like I have over the last 10 years. Uh, going back to when I first came for my first visit, I knew at that moment I was going to do something with this small little organization that is now growing up. And, um, and so just as a last uh, um, uh, feedback for, for everybody else that wants to be inspired for themselves, and for their community, there is nothing better than being a part of an organization like Special Kids. So go out, make 2019 the year that you go out and get involved with uh, your community. And one of the ways to do that is with an organization like Special Kids. 
Uh, it is inspiring every day you walk in the building. It's inspiring every day you're with somebody uh, that, that works at Special Kids. And it's incredibly inspiring to be with those family members and those kids. And if you can have that opportunity. And the way to start that is by showing up on March 9th. Be part of our uh, race. And then from that day, don't let that be the last day of the, uh, that you are part of Special Kids. Come and take a visit. See what else you can do and be part of this wonderful organization.